Welcome to this episode of Island by Film. My name is Wes. Today we're going to be talking about five reasons why I've chosen not to upgrade to the Fuji X100 Mark VI, or better known as the Fuji X100 VI. Okay, hear me out. I know you've seen me post multiple videos on the upcoming Fuji X100 VI. I've been excited. I've shared with you my wish lists, sneak peeks as time has gone by. So I feel you deserve an explanation as to why my title is sharing with you why I'm not gonna be purchasing this camera. So I'm gonna give you five reasons why I've chosen not to purchase the Fuji X100 Mark VI or the Fuji X100 VI. Okay, reason number one, battery. Fuji, in all their wisdom, has chosen to use the exact same battery as they had in the Fuji X100 V. Did I have an issue with that specific battery? No, not really. Carry generally two, and that usually got me through an entire day of shooting. But we don't know currently how this battery is gonna perform with two additional things. With the upgraded resolution of the sensor, I would imagine that would require some additional processing power and also the addition of IBIS in the camera. So Fuji, I'm not quite sure why you chose to use the exact same battery, but that would be probably reason number one I'm choosing not to upgrade from the Fuji X100V to the Fuji X100VI. Reason number two. Reason number two has everything to do with the aesthetic of the camera. I loved the original Fuji X100V. In fact, I loved all the iterations they had previously, all the way from the original Fuji X100, all the way up now to the X100V. But to be honest, I was expecting some uh, minor differences between the, the V and the VI. Um, and that's really all we got was minor differences, but I was excited to also see some distinct things in the camera. For example, I was hoping they would offer some limited edition options potentially. Um, and I was really, really hoping they would double down on the whole idea of Dura Black, uh, like they did in the X Pro 3 model. And so that's probably another reason why I'm choosing not to look at the new X100 VI over the original X100 V. Third reason I'm not purchasing the Fuji X100V is that this new model is made in China. Now, to some of you that might not be an issue, uh, but to me personally, I think Fujifilm being a Japanese company, it's, it's nice to know that that product is also made in Japan. The quality of the engineering is, is renowned uh, in Japanese camera manufacturers. And so to me, Fuji choosing to go to China instead of manufacturing in Japan, Obviously, they did it for production volume so that more people could get their hands in this camera. But if you look at the resellability of this camera as compared to the Fuji X100V, I'm not sure that it'll be there in the same respect. So in terms of quality, I'm sure that Fuji is overseeing the quality of these cameras closely. So we probably won't notice much of a difference between the Japanese made and Chinese made cameras. But in terms of resellability down the road, it's my personal opinion uh, that Japanese made cameras or made in Japan cameras, they hold a little bit more intrinsic value to me personally. Let me know what you think in the comments about this one. This one might be a bit controversial. Once again, I'm not saying that, that products made in China can't be uh, made to the utmost of quality, but China is often known for the volume of products they can produce versus the quality. And so, yeah, I'd like to hear your comments below on this one, but that's number three for me. Reason number four is price. Now, the price increase is marginal when you compare between the uh, a Fuji X100V versus the VI. I think it's gone up 200 US dollars. But in Canada, instead of paying 1599, we're paying 2159 plus tax, which is almost $2400 for a compact point and shoot camera. Now I understand it's an incredible quality compact point and shoot camera with now a 40 megapixel sensor. So these are all great things, but still cannot swallow the idea of spending $2,400 on this camera specifically when likely we could potentially, if you're in the market for this camera, be looking at a Fuji X100V as those prices will uh, eventually erode. They'll likely sell for less money than they have been over the past number of years. So my recommendation to you is, is if you wanna spend the extra money, it's totally your choice, but maybe you also wanna consider going to a Fuji X100V, the Japanese made one, I might add as well too. So anyway, that's reason number four for me, which is price. 
Okay, now we're down to reason number five why I'm not purchasing the Fuji X100VI. And it's this guy right here. It is the Ricoh GR, the GR3 specifically. I've had this GR3 now for a number of months. And just recently, I started seeing new rumors regarding the upcoming GR4. So I'm holding off on the X100V primarily because I want to see what Ricoh's going to do with their new Ricoh GR4. And so stay tuned in this channel and I'm actually going to be posting a, a list of rumors and what my wish list is on the upcoming GR4. We could actually only be a number of days until uh, Ricoh announces this new camera. So this actually might be a really good thing as you're trying to consider whether you need to upgrade to the VI or if you wanna actually look at the Ricoh GRIV. And so right now I'm holding off, I'm gonna be waiting, and I'm gonna be looking for uh, what Ricoh does in this space as well. Ricoh's known for their street photography cameras, and this one specifically has developed a cult following and for good reason. It's a phenomenal sensor, it's super compact. It is truly pocketable, unlike the Fuji X100 VI. So anyway, this is what I'm holding out for. Stay tuned over the next couple of days as I release another video talking about the upcoming Ricoh GR4. So anyway, thank you very much for watching my channel again, and thanks for tuning in. I've just been blown away at all the subscribers and people liking and leaving comments on my videos means the world to me. It really, really helps boost my channel. And so once again, thanks for joining me on Island by Film. My name is Wes.